this is a 1950s house and it's been upgraded. So currently what, what they have is um, 200 amps uh, for the main breaker and um, they've, they've filled it all up. So there's no room for expansion. You can't add any more breakers to it. And as I look at this breaker panel, what I'm seeing is uh, a lot of wires are not properly brought into the box properly. So you'll see that these wires are just crossing over the main wires. A lot of the white ones do come over to this side for the neutral bar. And then on the, the right hand side are a lot of the hot feed wires also. Um, what I'm always focusing on is, is uh, first of all, size of the breaker, size of the wires that can handle it, um, and then what the box is rated for. And those are the three things to look for to uh, figure out the capacity. So your main lugs are right here at the top and the wires are properly sized for that. And then the one right here with the white tape over it, that's your neutral. And then you should also have ground wires and that's gonna be the bare ones that are up here. So you'll see there's one there and one there. So they have two grounds, which is good. All the wires at the top are properly clamped, uh, which is proper. And then a couple of the items that I found is not only are the wires not clean and, and straight coming into the panel to the breakers into the lugs that they're supposed to, but I noticed over here, uh, there's a double pole breaker and then another double pole breaker. And then right here, you'll notice that the black wire and the red wire that are coming into this area here, the bare wire in between is a ground wire and it's very close to the hot wires going to the breaker, which can arc that. And so somebody actually wired in, uh, improperly by crossing those over. The other thing I had noticed on here is you have a 30 amp breaker and the wire coming off from that is only 12 gauge wire and that can only handle a 20 amp breaker. So what will happen is, is the 30 amp breaker could potentially feed too much power uh, to the wire overheating it which could potentially melt.